Hey guys, Brett here, and I knew that this new product, Curation Hero, was coming out. I knew that it was going to get a lot of hype, and I knew that it was going to get a lot of people's interest. So I asked to be an affiliate for it, and I also asked for a review copy so I can do a review of the product. Now, I got approved to be an affiliate instantly. However, despite asking Emma Powell, one of the creators, multiple times, for a review copy she completely ignored me and never even bothered to answer me so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy this product myself so I can test it out for you so I'm gonna scroll down here if I can find the buy buttons Maybe they gotta be here somewhere oh, there we are and I'm just gonna get the basic version it's only 17 bucks so I'm going to buy it, I'm going to test it out, and we are going to go over it together in this video. Let me go ahead and pause this while I actually do the checkout. Alright, so I uh, entered my details, so now I can uh, put the video back on. Let's go ahead and pick this up and see what happens. All right, so we know that there's going to be OTOs. There's always OTOs. This is expected. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just skip the OTO here. I'm not interested in the OTOs. I usually don't test the OTOs, uh, so I'm just going to buy the front-end product here. Uh, let me go past all of this to the skip button. That's $57, by the way, for the first OTO, and I am going to skip it. Now there's another OTO. So let me skip past that one. Second OTO is $87. I didn't want the $57 one, so maybe they thought I would want the $87 one. Uh, but I don't want that. I'm going to skip that. Okay. It looks like there's a, 30, a third OTO here. Um, let me see here. It looks like the third OTO is kind of like the first one, the first product with a lower price it says discount offer you can't see let me move it up here discount offer supercharge hero with wordpress curation a stunning response to wordpress theme built for creation hero uh, they want to offer me that now for forty seven dollars which i don't want so i'm going to click no thanks Hey, congratulations on getting... Okay, now there is a fourth OTO. And I, I got to say something, you know, I always defend sellers with OTOs because I know that, you know, really they only make their money off the OTOs. The affiliates take a large percentage and sometimes all of the front-end product price. So, you know, the only really chance that they have of making money is on the OTOs. So very often I defend product vendors when they have OTOs in their products. Well, I got to tell you, it is kind of annoying seeing all these darn OTOs. I mean, how many do you need to have? Uh, so we're on another one here. Uh, let's scroll down through it and go to the bottom. This one's $197. Like, where do these prices come from anyway? All right, let's skip this now. And there's another OTO. <laughs> now it's a monthly one. Uh, I'm going to pause this video, and I'm just going to scroll down to the end of it. Uh, I think this is like the fifth OTO at this point. All right, finally, we finished it. <laughs> we got through the whole thing. I, it wasn't horrible. It took some time, but it is kind of annoying. I can kind of understand. Now, again, I do understand that, you know, this is the only way these guys get to make money is from the OTOs, but that was a, a little... A little much, I, I think, um, but not horrible. So let me go ahead and get my product here. And I'm going to download it and install it on my WordPress site, and we'll pick up this video when I do that. All right, guys, so I got my plugin installed on my testing blog. 
And the first thing that I notice is that there's absolutely no help, there's no tutorials, there's no contact, there's nothing built into the plugin at all. There's no way to get assistance from the plugin. And, uh, you know, there's, I, I got to tell you, I've mentioned this before, I'm not just picking on this plugin, but I've mentioned this before on other plugin softwares. There's no reason for this. There's no reason at all not to put a tutorial video, instructions, a contact form, something right into the plugin. It's really lame and it's really generic to make me go in and find my log into the members area and then get assistance from inside of the members area. There is no reason at all why there can't be assistance built into the plugin. It's just laziness and it's just unprofessionalism as far as I'm concerned. And I, I will admit that this is just, you know, this is a pet peeve of mine. Maybe for some people it doesn't bother them that much, but it really bothers me. It just looks cheap to me. Okay, so now that we got that out of our system, uh, I did notice that there is some decent PDFs that you can download, though. If you go into the members area right over here, you can download some PDF guides, and they are pretty decent. They are pretty well written. They're there's a lot of screenshots and it seems like it's easy to follow. Now, I was reading the screenshots and you can see where it has like buttons and stuff here that you can select. Uh, the problem is that when I use my plugin, I don't see any of the stuff that's in these screenshots at all. I don't see any of these add buttons. Uh, I don't see this expand button. I don't see any of that. So let me go over to the plugin and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here I am. I'm on the plugin, and the very first thing I need to do is select my source. Now, my source is where the content is going to come from. Now, it says Google Blogs, Google News, Twitter, or YouTube. Those are my options with the basic version. I'm going to pick Google Blogs, and I'm going to enter Internet Marketing because I'm in the Internet Marketing niche. I will go ahead and click on the Go button, and it will search for content for me. And as you can see right here, this is what I'm, I'm showing. And I don't see any of these buttons that are in the tutorial at all. Here I am in the training PDF, and it says after I search, I should see a page like this. But I don't see a page like that at all. I don't see any page that looks like this. I don't see any of these, like, add, to add title buttons, add to editor buttons, expand buttons. I don't see any of that. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. But if you look at my plugin, I don't see any of that stuff at all. I don't see any buttons here on the left-hand side for me to use or to add a title or anything like that. Okay, so what I can do, though, is I can use this drag-and-drop function. I can click on this, and I can put it inside of the post content. Now, it was kind of weird at first. I was trying to put it in there, and it wasn't working. And then I read the instructions, the FAQ, and it says just to drop it down and put the right-hand side into the... Uh, editor. So I do that and it works. You can see that my content has now been put into the post, uh, but it's only putting in the preview. It's not putting in all the content. And the reason it's not putting in all the content is because I don't have an expand button to show me all the content. All I'm getting is a little bit of a preview, for, you know, for the content. Something else that I noticed is that really all this thing is doing is stealing content from Google Blogs. Like, it's not creating content, it's just stealing somebody else's content. So that's kind of, like, sucks anyway. Uh, what good is stealing somebody else's content? And if I was going to steal somebody else's content, why do I need the software to do it for me? Why can't I just go to Google, type in my search term, and just copy and paste somebody else's content? Uh, there's no, like, spin button or anything like that here that I could see that's going to, you know, tweak the content and make it original. You have to do all that manually. And if you have to do all that manually, why do you need a software in the first place? Uh, so i got to be honest with you. I've been playing around with this for about 20 minutes. Um, it doesn't show me any of the stuff that are in the tutorials. I don't see any of the expand buttons or anything like that. Um, and from what I can see, all it does is, you know, steal content. But it doesn't even steal the content right because I'm only getting, you know, a little bit of a preview of the content. Let me go ahead and try another content source, though, just to, just to be safe and just for completeness. All right, so I am going to, let me first, let me refresh this to clear this up. I'm going to try content from Google News. I will use the Internet Marketing again. Yeah, I don't see any expand buttons or anything. Uh, if I drag this in here, what I get is basically just a preview of the content, basically just what is shown. I'm not getting a full article or anything like that at all.
Uh, and like I said, it's just stealing content anyway, and it's not even giving me all the content. So I got to tell you, you know, from my experience with this as, you know, a customer, because I did buy this, I'm not impressed by this at all. It doesn't seem to be working right. And even from a concept, it's just a content stealer. I mean, like, you could just go and steal somebody's content from Google on your own, which is lame, and it's not going to help your search engine rankings because Google doesn't like duplicate content. Um, you have to manually edit it yourself. There's no spin tax or spinner built into it. So you have to manually go through it and, you know, edit the, uh, the article if you actually got a full article, which I'm not. Um, yeah, I don't see any point in this at all. I, I'm not impressed. Not, not even in the slightest little bit. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching.